mask on and mask off. Ooh, that sun is hitting. Chapstick is just a lotion for your lips. What if this thing we call life is actually just like God's video game? Ew. Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be doing a drive with me during quarantine. Because I have a couple errands to run and I don't want to do it alone. <laughs> so, ooh. So yeah, let's go. Now it's time for the breakdown. I'm sweating buckets. It is 80 degrees today, so I'm so sorry for this red oily face that you are currently seeing. I don't really know what we should talk about. Life 6 9 <laughs> I don't even know how to feel about him. The song that I know by him is Fifi and um stupid. So I'm not well versed in my 6 9 area. That's what we're gonna call it. But that song he just made, I haven't even really listened to it, but it's all over TikTok, so I know you know what I'm talking about. The one that's like, you're mad, she's mad, I'm back, ha ha, ha ha, stay mad, la la. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my god. Oh, I can't wait to watch that back. I don't know. That go kind of hard. <laughs> I can't even sit here and lie. Like, I would love to say it don't go hard, but it go kind of hard. As my friend says, it makes you want to rob friendly African Americans. <laughs> How do you feel about 6ix9ine? Do you think he's just a snitch? Because, I mean, at first I was on the bandwagon with everyone else. I was like, yeah, he's a snitch. He's a snitch. But now, I'm c after he explained it on his live, I'm kind of just like, well, if I was in his shoes, I would snitch too. There are so many people walking right now and they're not wearing their masks. I'm calling La Policia. We're gonna go for a walk because it's getting really hot in this car. Ooh, that sun is hitting. Ooh, look at my shadow. Oh, oh, <laughs> ridiculous. Clownery. Let me put my glasses back on because my eyes look beanie. Have you guys noticed that chapstick is just a lotion for your lips? Or put it the other way, lotion is just chapstick for your body. Just think about it. Cause like, it, it is, and I'm right. And I know I'm right, because I'm not wrong. <laughs> if I speed it up, can you handle that? You ain't ready for this work now. Watch me throw it back. <laughs> the amount of people looking at me right now is astronomical. It is way too loud. Now watch me throw it back, throw it back. Okay, we're gonna go now. <laughs> Yo, the people taking the run on the trail looked at me like... I have definitely made a fool of myself. And on that note, it is definitely, definitely time to leave. Let's get in the car and get food. Ashley, your fellow clown. <laughs> I have wanted a mango cream smoothie for
for so long. I'm literally having throat freeze though. I'm dying. It's okay. I'm okay. Okay, so let's talk. Do you believe in soulmates? Yeah, I'm asking you. You watching this. Do you believe in soulmates? Don't just look at me. Do you? I don't know. I believe in them, but I feel like not everyone meets their soulmate. Really, Wawa Truck? You know my phone is dying and you're just gonna go and be loud. The answer was yeah. <laughs> okay. But I don't know. I believe in soulmates. I just don't think everyone actually meets their real soulmate. I feel that some people meet, like, someone who's really close to being their soulmate. Like, you meet someone and you fall in love and whatever, but they might not actually be your soulmate. But you think that you're that they're your soulmate, and they think that they're your soulmate. So it still kind of works out, but, like, actually, your soulmate is somewhere in, like, I don't know, like, Italy or something. And y'all just never know that you could have done better, you know? So I feel like some people do find their soulmates and some people don't. And the people who don't end up settling without knowing. But it could still work out regardless. So yeah. What else can I talk about? Do you think that we're living in a simulation? Like y'all, has that ever crossed your mind? Have you ever just thought like, what if, stick with me, what if this thing we call life is actually just like god's video game like what if we are the sims Flarping. and then god had us make a game called sims so that we could play life like he's playing it what if that did i just do something there i don't know if i get taken by the fbi <laughs> you'll you'll know if i if, if i was on to something right there but, like, what if we are? I know everyone's gonna say that, like, I'm tripping, but, like, what if? I'm not saying it's true, but just think about that. That'd be wild. Oh, my God. Then that would mean that the Grim Reaper is, like, real. Because, like, it's real in Sims. And if we are the Sims that God is playing, then the Grim Reaper is for realsies. You know? Do you believe in the unknown? Like like unicorns and fairies and ghosts and demons and whatever and witches oh my god hold up my throat throat freeze <coughs> ah! i just died a little but it's worth it because this tastes so good <laughs> um i don't know like i i don't know about the whole unicorn thing but i mean like fairies sure maybe but then it's like if you can believe in fairies how could you not believe in unicorns because they're both a little out there so yeah i mean i guess i believe in both of those things witches and demons and ghosts definitely because they make more sense when some things just happen in life that really can't be explained i don't know i know a lot of people don't believe in that kind of stuff but i do because i mean i'm like then why do tarot cards exist if there wasn't other stuff out there, there wouldn't be a reason for tarot cards to be created. Because I feel like there's some truth to them. Would I get a, re a reading? No, because I'm way, way too scared of what they would say. Like, what if you go and get a tarot reading, and then they're like, you're gonna die in 14 days? Like, I think not. I think not. I'm, I'm, I'm cool off of it. Y'all, to you, is there anything that you're more afraid of than death? Like, I was reading somewhere, and they were saying that some people are more scared of public speech speaking than they are of dying i just find that wild i'd rather talk in public and make a fool out of myself than die so in that situation i'm more afraid of dying but like i don't know like overall i feel like i'm more afraid of failure than dying comment below if you feel the same because i mean like imagine dying without accomplishing what you wanted to accomplish that that now that my friend is terrifying so now we're gonna go home i'm not gonna film it because don't follow me to my house <laughs> but thank you for driving with me feel free to subscribe and like the video and also comment below like what other videos you want to see me do you know i will see you next thursday bye